Hey everyone, Renee here with Dandelion Decals and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, apply a test piece. Now we send test pieces out upon request along with color samples for free and we also send a test piece with all of our orders so that if you've never tried decals before you can use your test piece to kind of become more familiar with it and just get comfortable. So I'm going to show you all the parts of a decal. This top part that you can see your decal through is the transfer tape. And that the bird under there would be like the vinyl. This gridded backing paper is the backing paper. Now to apply your test piece, um, I like to either rub my decals with my fingers, like this one's small, but your order will come with an applicator. So that's what you'll use for your large decals. So I'm just gonna rub this to make sure it's sticking to the transfer tape. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the back. <laughs> and you want to flip it over. You want to remove the backing paper from the transfer tape. So I'm just going to kind of pick a corner here. Get them separated like that. Then I'm going to hold this corner and I'm going to pull back to show the decal. Then I'm going to flip it and apply it. And again, you can use your fingers or you can use your applicator. I'll use my applicator. Just get that rubbed down. There must be someone at the door. <laughs> Dogs are going crazy. Okay, and then I'm going to lift the transfer tape now that it's rubbed and applied. And I want to leave the decal behind by removing the transfer tape. So I'm going to pull at 180 degrees. That means all the way back on itself. That keeps the vinyl from pulling at all and stretching. And then we see that it's left behind perfectly. Now, what your test piece is also for, other than becoming comfortable with vinyl, is to check the compatibility of your wall and paint um, for vinyl. Vinyl works great on a lot of surfaces, any smooth surface um, at all, and slight any slightly um, textured surface. But VOC paints, no VOC or low VOC paints don't work well with vinyl. You'll know if you have that kind of paint because the test piece would repel and not want to stick to the wall. And that would mean that you probably have a low VOC or no VOC paint on the wall. Um, which those are the no chemical um, or low chemical newer paints that are on the market. Um, so once your test piece sticks properly, then you're good to go. And if you want, you can just remove it from the wall so it doesn't have to stay there. You'll just lift a corner and peel it right up and then get any little things left behind. Now, if you'd like to keep watching, I'm gonna walk through some of our color choices just so you can see them because online they tend to look a little different. So this is just black. This is our green. I like the green. This is beige. This one is, I think, light gray. Yes, light gray. That can be a really pretty one, nice and soft. Um, this is persimmon. It's actually lighter than regular orange. It's a nice soft orange. I like that one a lot. Pink is really popular. Nice bright color. Yellow. That's one of my favorites. So fun and happy. This is violet, kind of like a nice dark purple. This is geyser blue. That's a fun one. I love that. Um, this one is lavender. It's just a lighter purple. Lime green. This one is our um, dark blue or navy. That one's really popular. That was actually the color of the test piece that we applied. Um, this one's gold. It actually has a slight shimmer to it. This one is the regular orange, so it's a little brighter than the persimmon. Dark red, which is always gorgeous. Bubble gum, a nice lighter pink. This is the warm gray. Warm gray is really pretty too. And then this is the, like, I think this is regular red. Yes, regular red. Um, this is turquoise blue. That one's pretty. And then I don't have it on my ring, but here's, like, regular turquoise. And then this one's mint. The mint's really pretty, too. So we have all kinds of colors. I don't even know if I got to show you um, all of them today. But we have a ton, and um, we hope that you'll write with any questions. Thank you so much.